Man, we're off to a bad start. Going nuts. Before we started. And this particular ball here that I've chosen is the closest thing I got to, a, to an actual realistic ball. The default ball that comes to the game is actually a dull dark matte color, matte black. Oh, there's one. Okay, now the clock starts winding down. Blew it. But yeah, this is a bad table. It's a it's a timer-based table, but it's also a standard three and out as well. You should go one or the other, not both. And another reason why. That bank of blue targets right there, that has blocked many a shot. Now, in order, in order to restart multi-ball, I gotta get all the way up in the upper left corner. See where that flashing white target is? I gotta hit that captive ball up there. Good luck. Multi-ball, the idea is basically you keep hitting the drop targets, perfectly banks at a time. That's what increases your time limit. Too. If you hit any of those spot targets in the upper right corner, it'll it'll uh, cause one of the other gates to flash white. If you hit that particular gate, multi ball will also start. Gate is lit. Will I hit it? Probably not. Time to get pissed away. There we go. <laughs> Not 
Nice. Got a Mac. Upper left corner's lit, but probably not gonna get it. Ooh, just barely. Two seconds left. Got an extra ball. Oh, thanks, Carl. Just BFs there. Started almost immediately after losing it. That's 
actually learned what to aim for, too. Upper left corner. That, uh, yellow bank. The white bank, too, the upper right corner. twice in a row. Extreme luck at this table. Normal had have been done a long time ago. Three in a row. I gotta aim for the uh, right back in the upper right corner. Got a special and extra squirrels. They're all lit. have enough momentum to carry over from here over to the left flipper, but apparently not. I think I beat my high, beat the high score. I think the high score on this table is like uh, four million. Oh wow! I did beat it, just barely. Some extreme luck this time. <laughs> 